Hello, hello, hello. Can people hear me? Hello, the MNBN and J420, hello. Ah, dream, what's up, my man? Out of the med boards, into the keyboards. What up? <laughs> Wicked lightning. Oh man, I, I feel like we should add those emotes. <sighs> Probably should, huh? <laughs> what if I get? Oh, anyway. people doing it's been a while <laughs> haven't streamed in like it's been a while huh it's been almost a month since I last streamed so so yeah quartz manga s <laughs> yeah Yeah, so, oh gosh, um, so as some of you know, I've been, I've been busy. I was on, I was on a break for a couple months between, between when, between like January and like March. Because I was gonna um, take take my board exam for for medical school, but then COVID happened and everything got postponed. I got postponed twice for my exam. Uh, I was going to take it in March. Ended up taking in April. I was going to take it in April. That didn't happen. They closed everything. So uh, took it yesterday yesterday finally isn't COVID the real board exam uh yeah that would be like a real board exam but uh uh too much liability dude um too much liability what, what if what if what if an untrained student kills someone you know it's a yikes so no, no. They else they they actually like uh, pre uh they actually like uh, disallowed anyone who is uh, not licensed to to be even in the premises, um outside of patients and like family members. So yeah, it's pretty strict in New York, at least. Um, they're also in starting to enforce like you know mask wearing and all that stuff here too. Like um, they like warn you if you don't and stuff. Um, so it's kind of serious, but I mean, yeah, I mean, fortunately things are getting a little better around here. The weather's really nice outside today. It's like 70 degrees out. Um, that's like what, 20, 20, 25 degrees Celsius for y'all, um, non-freedom users out there. Um, yeah, so, so it's nice out now and, but I mean, still, I mean, I'm still probably going to be isolated inside and all that, um, going out sparingly. But, uh, but yeah, it's been busy. Um, I've been super stressed out. So it's kind of nice to come back. Um, so are things okay now? It seems like things are all right. Like things are not buffering. Uh, last time I um, tried to stream, it was a hot mess. It was terrible. Not gonna lie. It was terrible. But here we are.
use this? Mr. Poner, what's up? So it looks like stream is working this time. If Poner's here, it means something's working. He, he would not stay here if things weren't working, right? <sighs> Kevin, please, what's up? Hello, hello, hello. What's good? So it's working? <laughs> Woo! I guess streaming during the day is the right thing. I think I'm gonna have to start doing EU-friendly streams and such. Uh, because this is uh, it is this is nicer. <laughs> Last time I tried it was horrible, and also I changed my um. Kevin, please, thank you so much for your tier one sub. Um, last time I tried uh, it was it was a shipwreck. It was horrible, but here we are. All right, so what's new? Um, let's see, what's new? What's new for everyone? I don't know what's new for you guys, so you guys can tell me in the meantime. Um, I have, I have some key sets I want to try at some point. Um, I got some mail. You guys want to open some mail with me? Let's open some mail. Alrighty. What key sets do I have sealed at the moment? Um, so back there, I have Violet on Cream and Olive, but I already opened Olive, but I haven't used it. UB Mitt, hello. John, so I got a package from Hunger Work Studio. Let's open it up. Caps slash Hunger Work Studio. They work between Binge and Widgie Pitch, his partner, Waifu. Oh, that's cool. I hadn't seen this one before. This is new. VOC is growing on me daily. All is so good. Oh, yeah, I mean, both are so good, but I, I'm waiting for boards to use them on specifically. I probably want to use a VOC on something like silver or white, maybe. I don't know. Olive, I, I really do want a green board, but I don't have one, so. Alright, let's open it up. Ooh. Oh, look at that. John. That's a key cap I got. Under the box, some skittles. There's a sticker. There's an authentication card. And the rest is just an invoice. So let's see it. Skittles. I'm gonna eat these later. And then there's this authentication card. Nautilus Monster Meat Popsicle Skull by Binge. Jack Static, what's up? Thank you so much for the tier one sub and welcome back for three months. Mm -hmm. Look at that guy. Match to Nautilus. Do you guys know that? This is a match to Nautilus colors. I wonder how good of a match, um, but this is really nice. Oh my god. And this 
the sticker. That's Bowie. Bowie, Bowie. Oopsie. Face work hard in the colors. I don't even have nautils anymore. Gotta wait for round two to the liver. Oh, I see. Do you order round two in the end? Or do you have to wait to buy a set after it delivers? I mean, there's gonna be so many though, because now that there's both R1 and R2 sets out there, it should be more, it should be easier to get a set. Also, I don't think Nautil sells for like a ton of money in the aftermarket right now, so it's not a bad time to look. The new keys in R2 are nice. I actually haven't seen what the differences were. Oh, yo, Obsidian Raid. Thank you so much for the tier one sub and welcome back for two months. <laughs> Look at high quality stream. Better than last time. Better than last time. Uh, I'm gonna just put this on the side here. Alright, let's get on with this build. Um, Yo, Geo, what's up? Look at this. Apparently, I can't spell today. What mods would you use for this? Uh, let me take a look. Um, What led... What color are those legends? Are those like brownish? I mean, I would use either beige. Um, I mean, like if I were using like the regular TA, I would have used the, like the Gabriella ones. I would have used the um, like uh, GMK Triumph Adler or like something like that, like um, GMK Olivetti sort of like mods. But for this, for this, I'm leaning towards beige, uh, so oh, I should show it on stream. But if you guys are looking at it, um, yo, Geo, welcome back for four months. Thank you for the tier one sub. Lightning best streamer. Why is this working? Uh, nope. Wait, that's not it. So that's what's on here. So like, I think I would use like beige. I mean, the, the legends look sort of brown though. So like, yeah, beige or like, I don't know, maybe like camping mods. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? If there's a set with brown and teal, uh, mint chocolate? Mint chocolate has like brown and like... Yeah. Mint chocolate, GMK mint chocolate. It's, it was super niche uh, from Z Frontier. Uh, yeah, it was this one. Uh, the question is... Um, why is it not like <laughs> this page is so bored? Um, uh, yeah, um. This? This had like a... Uh... <laughs> hello Zambo, Zamboni, Mr. Zambomon, hello, hello. The mods were brown. Yeah, 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 kind of uh... 
very vibrant. But anyway, yeah, that was another one. Anyway, so we got a little board here. I'm sure you guys have seen it already. Yeffy, what's up? Discord Lightning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's me. Hello, hello. There are green subs in that set mode, so maybe something like Ursa. Oh, yeah, Ursa is not a bad idea. I was saying camping earlier, but Ursa is not a bad idea. Ursa has like muted ish brown mods, right? So there's a KFE here. I already opened it up. But yeah. Cha -chan. Anyway, so that's what I'm building today. <sighs> hello, Yui. Hello, hello. Flexible plate, very flexy. I'm not gonna bend it. So I actually pre-looped the staffs today <laughs> because um, I wanted to make it a shorter stream. And I also um, was thinking of working on this particular board without the stream because um, my internet's been so bad. But it looks like it's back my internet so hey that's good um, doing better today it looks like let us see actually So yeah, I, I basically loop the stabs, and um, so this PCB is a, is it is a like a thinner variant um, for the H88. Um, so it has these uh, plastic shims for the stabs. So I use those. If you, if you don't know what that means, it, they're there are these shims that go in between the stabilizer and um, the PCB. You can put them on either side but I prefer to put them on the bottom. I'm in the Ursa GB. Hmm, that's nice. I, I contemplated entering that, but um, in the end I decided not to. I figured I had enough sets and um, I wanted to use them. <laughs> I didn't want to have too many sets just sitting around. Morning, Lossy, hello. Oh, hi. Hello, hello, Apiary Keyboards. Hello, hello. Good morning. Um, yeah. Doing an early stream today because I'm not affiliated with Clackers Care. So if you guys haven't seen, there's a command for um, exclamation mark Clackers Care. Uh, but Clackers Care is a, is a fundraising event. Um, happening all weekend starting it already started about 50 minutes ago with um, Disco Crocodile who's currently uh, making a cable um, and there will be giveaway prizes um, there will be um, 
there are very exciting prizes being also um, silently auctioned, um, donated by different people, um, donated by different vendors and uh, members of the community. And they will be, um, there are like, there's like a key called number one, custom additized by Caustic Customs. Um, there is a Bower. There is, there's artisans, there's switches, there's keyboard kits. Um, all sorts of little goodies. Um, little, I mean, little and big. So you guys should check it out. Um, it's happening all weekend. Um, from now until, until like 9 o'clock Eastern Time tomorrow. So you guys should check it out. Yeah, so I was actually going to be part of it. Um, <laughs> hey, uh, so yeah, I was, um, you know, I was going to be, I was going to be part of it, um, but I, um, I've been busy the past few months preparing for my medical boards, uh, medical board exam, and so that's pretty much what I've um, been preparing for, and so I couldn't prioritize anything else really. Um, but I finally took my exam yesterday. So I'm so relieved and doing so much better now. <laughs> like my mental health just like spiked up now <laughs> because I'm so relieved that I'm done with it. I don't know how it went. Um, it was a very difficult exam, I'm not gonna lie. But here's the hope that it all went well. So yeah, um, um, for, for at least the next month, expect more streams, expect more things to be happening in keyboards for me. Um, but yeah, it was um, it's finally done. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. But yeah, priorities. Yep, yeah, so that happened. That's That's been my life basically the past like five months. I was away for two months doing a like an intensive course sort of thing with a couple of other people, like a bunch of other people that I know, and then um, and then like came back in March. Was going to take my exam in March, and then COVID happened and things got postponed twice. Uh, and then finally, finally two months later, I, I I'm finally getting to like do stuff. You know, okay. So <laughs> finish board exams. <laughs> Sponsored by Keycold. What can't he do? I know. In case you don't know, I'm also a moderator at um, at Mana K Discord. I'm also a moderator at Teha Types. What can't he do? I'm just kidding. I'm just I'm just joking around. But I mean, it's true. Uh, it, it's just so funny. Um, like random random things that. I'm allegedly assuming responsibilities for, but I'm not even sure <laughs> if I would, if I can. Uh, wow, can't get a <laughs> can't get a Freedom Eagle. No, no, no. I'm not a rich, um, rich magnate who can afford to pay thousands of dollars for one artisan. <clears throat> so yeah, such cloud. Wow. Oh my god, imagine. Can I be a mod for <laughs> You're already a mod! <laughs> but if you want to be a mod of my Discord where there's literally nothing happening, you're welcome to. <laughs> you're welcome to be a moderator. Okay. Um, Gasp, isn't it your birthday? What? It is your birthday? Well, everyone, please, um, congratulate Ape Your Keyboards Gasp. Happy birthday. Um, I hope it's a great one. Um, I hope Prongles is right next to you right now. <laughs> He's such a cute cat. I love Prongles. Um, uh, don't tell Ono. <laughs> Oh my my. Well, happy birthday! Hoffy, hello! I 
thought it was a no work day. Uh, it's always a work day for popular builders like Apiary. There's always work on. There's more work on weekends than there are on weekdays sometimes. So I, I get it. Cause also weekends it's like when you prep all the like when you do all the like dirty work that you don't sometimes don't do on stream and then you have to like pack all your packages right right Apiary like you have to like pack everything so that you, it goes out on Monday. Um, and like, yeah, it's always a lot of work on, it's always backlog work on weekends. So I get it. I mean, not that I have any backlog right now, but I actually do, I guess a little bit, but there's parts that I've been waiting for from Corona. by Apiary, nice. Leaf 60. Leaf 60 is a nice board. Oh, do you finally get a Winkeyless board, um, Kevin? Winkeyless 60. Excuse me, I'm gonna turn on the fan. I'm getting really hot in here. Um, it's just really warm today. Um, the search is over for now. Same dude is thinking of selling me his gasket. Oh, oh, ooh, nice. Wait, Gasket O is this uh, group buy? Group buy slot? Cause, Cause the new units look really nice actually. I think the new the group buy units are probably gonna be like just as just as nice or nicer actually. Um but yeah. Um Vintes, are you am I gonna get the high TKL? Um maybe. But uh, probably pending on funds. I need to probably need to work a bit to, to get some money to, to spend. So depending on that really. Um, he got in on a second buy, nice. I think TKO is looking nice. Oh yeah. I really like um So I'm not sure if you guys saw, but he had like two different um yeah, two different prototypes, and one of them had like a ribbed bottom piece, like on the inside of the bottom piece, it was like, it was like, um, it had these like, uh, like ribs kind of thing, <laughs> like a grill, um, and uh, I really like that look, so I hope that he goes with that, although I know it's like more machining, um, but I, I like that look, so I hope he goes with that. I hope the lavender lightens up, like the renders. Uh, he did say that the lilac was slightly off, um, Lazy. So he's probably going to ask them to go a little lighter. Um, but I, I don't know. Like I, I, th I mean that's like the last thing he's he said, based on the photos that he was posting on his Discord. Um, but I mean we'll see. You in Teha Types Discord? I am in Teha Types Discord. I'm a moderator there. I think after we leave an Oblivion V2, I'm done buying and selling for a year. Kevin, 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 famous last words. <laughs> People say that, like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm so done with keyboards for a whole year. And then maybe like a month later, something new comes out and they're like, uh, dude, I, I couldn't resist. I, ha I had to do it. I had to do it. 
I had to sell my I had to sell my car. I had to sell my dog. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No one should ever sell their dog. I had to sell my keycaps. I had to sell my artisans. I had to sell my key sets. Oh, dude, someone was offering three hundred dollars for Mizu. I couldn't give it up. I I had to get that new board. I had to get it. I, I just had to. Sorry, man. I think he misspelled Tay types. Tai Hao types. Philu, hello, hello. <laughs> no, not done. Just taking a break. Uh huh. Yeah, right. Sell your children instead. Yes. Sell, 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 sell the rice to your firstborn. <laughs> That's how I got oblivion. I said I was done. And then I got oblivion at cost. Another 250. Wait, 250? 250, 250 is not oblivion at cost. Unless you mean at cost of that person's like expenses. Dude, dude. Hello, Soran. Hello, hello. What's up? Hagoromo get based on alternate functions. Oh wow. Okay. I see. That makes sense then. I actually like the um regular gits. Um I mean regular um oblivion look better. Actually the regular git I like more than Hagoromo, but um, that's just me. Nothing much, got one more a room left to vacuum. Are you cleaning the house today? Came back to mine just to grab a cup. Oh, nice. Okay. Um. Yeah, I need to clean my room. Uh, so the past like five months. Yeah, my room just exploded into a mess, and I need to clean it up. I, I started cleaning yesterday, but uh, never enough. You know, there's always something else to do. We do it like three times a week. Dude, that's really diligent. <laughs> I, I clean maybe like once a week, and that's like at best. Hagoromo is reselling for quite a bit. I actually didn't know that. But then again, I think it is the more popular version of Oblivion out there. Jam pot, hello. How am I doing? I'm doing well, thank you. I, I'm relieved from very large stressors in my life. And I'm finally getting back to some keyboard stuff. And uh, streams working today um, compared to the last couple of times. So I'm very relieved by that too. Smooth stream, Pog, I know, so nice. Lazi, you're moving at the end of the month, haven't even started cleaning, packing, anything? Oh my gosh, moving is the worst. Um, I've actually been living here in my current place for a couple of years now. Um, uh, I think we're going for two years now, actually, um, after this month. And, oh gosh, like it's such a, it's such a relief to not have to move again I mean I hope I won't have to for a bit um, because honestly like I hate moving I hate packing I hate having to throw all this stuff out um, still in full COVID potato mode yeah yeah no I really hate moving um, it's such a drag and it's just there's just so much stuff to do all the time I mean I like have hired movers before and makes it easy for sure but even if I I mean well, even when I move myself like I don't know <sighs> I don't know it was just it's just too much work there's always something to do and I always feel like I have too much stuff which I think it's true but at the same time 
I think the moving exacerbates that a bit. So. I feel ya. Oh, Mousy, hello. <laughs> Dr. D Lightning. <laughs> you funny. You funny. Don't call me doctor until I am one for real. Afternoon, afternoon, though. Hello, hello. Wait, so it's like evening by for you, though. It's like evening time for you. Alright. Woo! Alright, have we reached sponsor time? Yo, and I actually have sponsors? Pog! Alright, so sponsor time. So, first up is Mint Autumn. Uh, so, Mint Autumn is led by Jack Static, who is currently developing um, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene cases. But he is known um, in the community to have um, to have run the Rukia um, polycarbonate Alice layout keyboard um, for two rounds. Uh, the second round of which just ended and is currently um, heading into production. And, um, but the more exciting of his projects, I think, in my opinion at least, is his ultra high molecular weight polyethylene cases, which he is planning to develop and have machined um, in other layouts as well. So, one of the popular projects, I mean, one of the projects he's trying to um, get done is the Irma, which is going to be a TKL uh, made out of a polyethylene case. Okay, the next sponsor is Novel Keys. So head over to novelkeys.xyz and uh, you can purchase any in stock item using the code THUNDER for a 5% off discount. Currently on Novel Keys, uh, I believe we have GMK Classic Blue. Um, on group by we have um, cat arctic as well and um, what else do we have and then I believe there should be other switch um, restock soon and they're currently working on the NK65 injection molded keyboard so stay tuned on their Instagram profile for more news regarding that they've been teasing it a lot lately and I believe there is a unit right now um, for silent auction on the Clackers Care um, event happening this weekend. So you might uh, you can get a chance to own one of the first prototypes of the NK65 smoked purple um, injection molded unit. Any more deets on the polyethylene? Um, I do not know um, as far as like the production details. Um, for all I know, uh, it was it's been a project in the works. Um, obviously, COVID-related things have um, delayed that process quite a bit, um, but it's in the works. Um, so definitely something to stay tuned uh, for. But, but it definitely is something that Jack Static is working hard on. Yeah. This is Anthony, by the way. Changed my username. Verizon sucks. <laughs> what board is that? This is a H88. Uh, this is a KFE. My bad, um, Anthony. Is that a J80? Yes, it is a J80. Um, Hoffy. No, the one on top? This is a Jer A02. There is a... Exclamation keyboard command for details on the keyboard I'm typing on currently. All right. <clears throat> so the next sponsor is Prime Keyboards. Um, Prime Keyboards is uh, primekb.com. Um, if 
you are looking to use my build service, I am offering um, switches, stabilizers, and similar items that they provide at a discounted price uh, whenever they are available. And so if you request a build service through me and say you want a Duroc stabilizers, I can provide them at a slightly discounted price, similar to what Novelkeys would provide, so like 5% off or something you can expect. Um, they also have T1 switches as well as alpaca switches. They also have the duck, raven, and sidewinder cases. Um, and they also have the Prime E, uh, among other um, keyboard kits. Um, Alpaca switches are scheduled to restock sometime in June, so check um, their Instagram profile for more information. Um, if, uh, if you go to their Instagram profile and tap on following, and then uh, go to your notification settings, you can be notified uh, whenever they put up any stories or posts about uh, an upcoming restock on alpaca switches. Um, the alpaca switches have been selling out pretty consistently in within like the first 30 minutes of the drop. And this is for like a, like thousands of switches. So if you want to get more alpaca switches, uh, make sure to sign up for notifications and pay attention to them. Good morning, hello, hello, Zekin. Oh, unlimited Zek works. Hello, hello. Um, the next sponsor and last is Project Keyboard. Project Keyboard is currently having the GMK Masterpiece um, group buy, uh, which features uh, Japanese uh, legend modifiers as well as alphas in a very nice, somewhat muted blue tone. Um, so check that out. Um, they will also be shipping Bingsu sometime later this year. Um, so if you haven't gotten Bingsu and would still like to have a chance at it, uh, Project Keyboard does still have GMK Bingsu for pre-order uh, at a price slightly increased uh, relative to group buy. And you can use my affiliate link on my Discord server to provide a small kickback and support my work. So yeah, that's it for sponsors. Um, I haven't um, <clears throat> if Obsidian Raid is out there right now, um, you guys can check out my favorite unofficial sponsor and my only one is Keycall.io. So go head over to Keycall.io to check out more <laughs> news about their upcoming um, pre-orders. Um, they will be doing the number one TKL one more time this year. Uh, that's the upcoming one. Um, the 160 and 165 cases are still in production, but will be done shortly. Um, they, uh, they should be having additional orders for those once they come in, so stay tuned for that. They've also been teasing their 265 keyboard as well as their number 3 produced by Salvin. The num uh, number 2 slash 65 is being produced in-house by Keycult. Uh, so they have fairly frequent streams on their uh, machining process, so check that out as well. Check out Salvin CNC as well on Twitch if you want to see um, their if you want to if you want to check Salvin's um, machining process for uh, not in this case not just the number three, but for other boards as well. He does a lot of work for the community, so check his work out on twitch.tv slash salvincnc. He's also on Instagram where he posts a lot of um, a, a lot of material onto his Instagram story. So if you want to learn about machining and seracoding and and CNCing and all this kind of cool stuff, check out Salvin. 
dot com smh oh yeah key call is dot com now key call dot com <clears throat> that's why they're, they're they're an unofficial sponsor i'm not ready for them yet um <laughs> but yes um so check out you know check out key call they also donated a um caustic customs anodized it's like a purple gradient color um key cult number one revision one um to uh the clackers care silent auction so if you want to get a very premium board with a very with a unique anodizing pattern um do check out clackers care and bid however the bid is currently at $3,500 so if you think you can afford to pay over $3,500 and support a great cause for the fight against COVID-19 go and check out their silent auction So that's about it for my official and unofficial sponsors. And yeah. Let's see. What else do I have to share? Oh yeah, so I actually got my first um, tea set using the new GMK trays. I actually got a set of uh, GMK 8008 uh, just recently in the mail uh, because I wanted to check it out in person. And the new trays are questionable in quality. Um, I don't think I like them as much as I like the plastic ones. I understand that they're doing it for environmentally friendly purposes, but um, I think they, the, the trays don't hold the keys very well. Um, there is some friction between the paper that they use and the, like the material they use for the tray and the, and the keys, but it doesn't really hold them there. So like almost any tapping of that tray will like tilt them over have them fly out and stuff so I'm not a big fan of that personally um, I, I still haven't tried um, I still haven't tried to eat any of those trays so maybe if someone if someone donates if someone <clears throat> if we get maybe if we get 15 tier 1 subs I'll have a bite of the tray fifteen you say I do it for free, you weakling? <laughs> Toxic. Oh no, this is not a good idea, is it? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, Poner, thank you so much for the 5 tier 1 gifted subs. <sighs> oh no! Oh no, 10 more to go. It's okay. We're not gonna make it. 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 You get the rest? Shit. No. What? Oh my god. Verizon sucks. Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. <laughs> Shit. No. No, <laughs> Obsidian, thank you so much for the five gifted <sighs> Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Verizon sucks. I guess it is time for me to <laughs> eat a tray. Okay, I'll 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 um I'll bite uh and 
I'll bite the tray at the end of stream. Um, so you have to stay around. You have to just call me Ant on here. Ant, um, thank you so much, Anthony. Um, you have to you have to stick around till the end of stream. I want a refund. <laughs> okay, fine. <clears throat> Do it now or we riot. Oh my god. Ma 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 massive chargebacks. Would you actually... Would you actually do that? To this poor... To this poor boy? I have to take my dog. <laughs> give me like 10 minutes? Fine, fine. Let's give Obsidian 10 minutes because Obsidian donated. Um, give the uh, 5... Um, Tier one subs just earlier, so I will wait for Obsidian. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait for you. Go to bed and <laughs> will bits for money will bite for money you mean <laughs> oh no Aussies Alright, let's see He <laughs> just sang the song from Book of Life. <laughs> Weep calling me a Zeppo. <laughs> wow, these Aussies, man, making making chat so toxic. It's okay. At least they 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 have good emojis. <clears throat> All right, let's test this. Um, bro <laughs> truth whoa uh, wait a second layouts bottom row 7u I guess that's fine. Key tester plus matrix. So just not working. Broken PCB refund? Uh no. Let's see. Z X C B B. Hmm. 
It is sort of working, but it's also not. I might have to provide... I might have to dece out of this and provide one of my own switches or something. EXCVD. Sent the exact amount? Yeah, uh, I actually, it was a desolder. Uh, I had to desolder it, that's why. So yeah, I, I only have the exact number of switches. I think it's just a leaf or like some something like was lubed in and then lubed too much maybe. Okay, okay, well. The PCB is fine. It's just the uh, it's just a switch. I should have an intro around here. Provide one for free. No biggie, no biggie. It's been so long since good vint boards popped up in Poland. Feels bad, man. I actually, um, yeah, I I feel like Europe does tend to have more um, uh, like good vintage cherry boards, but I think like if you're looking for like um, Alps or um, IBM stuff, uh, the U.S. will have more, and then um, and then the rest is a mixed bag, I would say. But yeah. I just want some caps for cheap. Uh, what kind of caps are you looking for, Soran? Like double shots? Like double shot, like when Keyless, like thing? Oh, for cherry? Because if so, I will uh, I can look for you. I can help you out. Or I'll let you know if I see any. Either double shots or dice up. Dice up is gonna be hard no matter where you are. But um, if you do want dice up though, I feel like 
checking the German post listings are easier because they have a pretty large amount of like uh, like German SAD dice ups and so I personally recommend if you want the cheapest way to use dice ups and not break the bank get like German or like UK die subs because uh, they're the most numerous um, and then just use um, use a uh, what should I call it on um, left shift pipe and enter like ANSI enter those three things will be the things that are missing if you if you use an ISO die sub set those are the only three things you need to like use to to be able to use that particular set on like a win keyless TKL board. So that would be the cheapest way. Normally those dice ups don't run for too much money. Um, they shouldn't at least. Most people went to alphas? Yeah, if, if that's the case then yeah, you should be fine. Switch. Good. Alright. Hello, Sour KB. Hello, hello, hello. What's up, Mr. Sour? How are you doing? Easy save? Yeah. This, this is good. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Quinella, thank you so much for the follow. Alright, I assemble this and we 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 get the 808 box out. Um, <coughs> Sour, in case you missed it, I uh, made a I made a pact with chat and I will be eating. Oh, no, not eating. I'll be biting and chewing on a GMK tray, a new GMK tray. And I sold myself for 15 gifted subs. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, do it for the viewers, am I right? Do it for the viewers. I'm glad I am a source of entertainment for these trying and difficult times. <clears throat> yes, yes, so difficult.
is Poners. <laughs> <laughs> Poner would not miss a moment like this. It's a rare, it's a rare moment where I have to uh, put myself in such a position. I have to be like the new, um, I guess. Okay, actually, never mind. I was gonna say the new like DJ Nathan because. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but Nathan, Nathan in his old days of streaming, which means like maybe that was like what, a year ago, year and a half ago, I don't even know. He would sell him, sell himself off for, for bits. He would lick, lick keyboard butts, uh, slap, slap keyboard butts. I don't even know, man. So many lewd things. Eat caps. <laughs> oh, Soran, what what is this? What is this gold? LB uh no Soran, you don't want that one. Anything with L, yeah. Is laser. Slash pat print. <laughs> so okay. Fine. Yeah. UK double shots like four months ago. Uh, UK double shots? Yeah. So UK and German, I think, are the most numerous, and then the rest comes later. I feel like there would be more anti stuff. But the problem with ANSI is that a lot of the US stuff, like, I honestly feel like a lot of cherry ANSI stuff was destroyed because of, like, e-recycling laws in the United States. Japanese Horror Writer, hello, hello. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits, and um, you might be tuning off, so goodbye if you leave after this. I hope you're doing well. Um, JH Dubs, I hope you're doing well, man. Um, Last good thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the last good thing was that I've seen in vintage. Diceps have been selling for so much money now. Like I, I think I saw someone selling like um, NCR ANSI diceps for like three hundred dollars, and I was like, when I was. When I was first getting into like cherry stuff, those only went for like 150, 180. Now they're like 300. So it's an ever decreasing supply of them. So I guess that makes sense. Put up a poll. Uh, nothing related to um, a straw poll. This is for just the key set that we're gonna use today. Key set on silver KFE. Uh, I have simple jaw that I wanna use, Jim K Violet on cream that I wanna use, and Jim K Olive. We can do that for now. I'll go for 808. I'll be right back. So sad. Hey, yeah. <sighs> Is chat ready though?
Ah, uh, I'm gonna chug some coffee, so maybe it'll taste like coffee. You got the purple alphas for VOC? I do. I do. Do you like the new trays? So what I was saying is I, I'm not a huge fan of them. Oh, you'll, you can see why. So, okay, so like this, the, so this is the, it's still like sort of packed, so. So like this is how it looks, right? And then on both sides, it's just like a regular band roll. It's smaller, as you can see. It's like about, it's actually about like 75% layout width. Okay. So, okay, anyway, so these new trays, you can like take it out, right? Um, God Dream, thank you so much for the follow. So like, this is how it looks, right? GMK, Uniki Net. And there's these folds, like they basically like slot into the top part. But basically like, you know, it's just this. And then there's a tray. But I don't like it because these shift a lot. Like these, sh these shift around a lot more than they use, uh, than they would like on a pla on the regular plastic trays. So I don't like it because by the time I like take it out, it's already all shifted around and like messy. And uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. Like, I want my trays to be organized. Like, that's the whole point for me, to have trays. It's to have organization. But, yeah, these, like, shift around too much. Yo, what's up, Droke? Please ban Soran? Why, dude? Why do I have to ban Soran? Anyway, so as you can see, mod for modding you on TT. Uh, uh, I think that's a fair game kind of deal. Hmm. 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 I'll, I'll sleep on it. I hear the band roll is edible too. You should try that. No, no, no. That if if I bite on a band roll, no, no. If I bite on the band roll, I won't have a. I don't want to do this. I, I mean, I promised, so I will. Um, which one am I dumping? I mean, dumping the bottom one or the top one? Okay. I might. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna take a picture of what this looks like. And then I'm going to, okay, I'm just going to take a picture of this because I want to know what it, what, what the layout was. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay. All right. Take a bite of the low, left lower corner. Well, I'm gonna bite. I'm gonna put, put these out. All right. Let's do this. Lower left corner. Wait. Lower left here. Is here better or here better? It's a, it's the thickest part though for sure. Just want to say that boba ice cream is the greatest invention since boba itself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boba boba ice cream is delicious. That's where the least caps were. Oh yeah, yeah. That's fine. Recycle with paper, so it is just paper. So it should just taste like paper. All right, make it look like a bite out of an apple. I'll try. All right. Stop stop. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I need to stop the music, right? Because you guys gotta listen to that chew, right? <clears throat> oh, face cam. Okay, face cam. Hold on. Uh, 
Does this work? Does this work? <clears throat> Does this work? All right. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I can't believe you're doing this. I I made a bet and they 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 actually did it. I should have I should have raised the bar. I should have set like I should have set like twenty five or thirty or fifty. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sell out. All right. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Five gift of subs if I swallow this. <laughs> Yo, that wasn't the deal. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, okay. Hmm? Nothing. Ah. Uh, oh, paper. Mmm. <sighs> it actually tastes like. It does kind of taste like. Dry potato. Thank you so much, Zekin, for five gifted subs. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so there is a proof. I can still use this tray. It still looks intact from up above. So when I whenever whenever I decide to sell this, I, I just need to, you know, sell, like take a photo just like this. No one will notice. And then they'll get it and then they'll be like what the fuck happened here? Good enough. All right. <clears throat> I hope y'all enjoyed it. We have the video evidence. Put a little note that they should try. <laughs> I should put a little like I should like write down like in Sharpie or something or like a little post saying like, "Hey, this actually tastes pretty good. You should try it out. It's like free free potato chips." The <laughs> ketchup packet. Sri Racha. No, no. Sri Racha is the way to go. Oh my god. This could have been edited with fancy camera work. You're welcome to edit it with fancy camera work. I actually suck at editing. Go and put it on a pan? What? Why am I gonna put that on a pan? Wait, wait, like, like fry it? Like put some butter on it? Put some like, uh, some hot sauce? Gr grind it. Dude, just like grind it. Put like, you know, like put it with egg and shit, like spam and kimchi or something. I don't even know. Grind it up and put it in your next coffee. Oh my god. Ooh. I mean, I'm sure it wouldn't really taste like anything at that point though. Because when I just had it, like it was, it really just tasted like, like paper and like potato. Times are tough. This is this is this is what we have to do. You know, someone asked me, "Hey, hey, Diego, are you gonna get the high knee TKL?" This is how. This is how you get a high knee TKL. Let's go, baby. All right. Um. So, uh, if you guys haven't voted, I put a stream poll of a straw poll. So I'm gonna post that one more time and check it out. Alright, GMK Violet on cream. Blurk. Hello, hello. Oh no, this got this must have gotten posted everywhere. Oh no 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 no. Uh I 
don't see it anywhere yet. Okay, good. <clears throat> hello, loop friends. Hello, hello. All right. So, um, violet on cream, purple alphas or regular alphas. I actually think I do have purple alphas here. Keys. No, nothing really. Tiny. Oh, tiny, tiny X novel keys. That's pretty cool. Is that VOC? Yes, it is. So, purple alphas or no pur purple alphas? Regular cream or purple? Cream or purple? Say it in, say it in chat, chat. Say it in chat. Purple, cream, one, one cream, both. Or canola's those Pur purple, purple. Okay, purple it is then. All right, let's let's try purple. Uh, can you eat that bag of Skittles, please? Yeah, sure. Always switch if it looks like ass. Yeah, that's true. is so nice oh yeah I love this set Skittles are pretty good, actually. 
I've tried like what are those other skittles? Fucking um like the zombie flavor ones, I don't even know. Those weren't too good. Old purple is gonna look nice. Yeah, I think so. so much for the tea you want. Sup, my friend. Oh, yo! Thank you so much for the five gifted tier one subs, Mo. How you doing? What up? Pog. How much to eat this tray? Oh no, 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 ch no chance, no chance. I don't think I don't even think I can like take a bite out of it. Like as in, like, I'll bite it, but I don't I don't think it would break with my teeth. That'd be rough, actually. That'd be rough on my teeth. But everything, but everyone has their price, right? Believe in yourself. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Why am I doing this? Should I even have gotten back to streaming? <laughs> oh god. <That's> miserable. <laughs>
Give me one sec, guys. Um, be right back. What's the frame brand? Frame brand? You mean the case? The case is by, um, yeah. It's a KFE by um, Monoke slash Bisaromi. Designed by Bisaromi, sold by Monoke. All right, um, let's see. Uh, just gonna reprogram this really quickly. Let's see, I want this to be left control, left when. That's fine. All right. How long have I been streaming for? I think there should be an uptime command. One hour and 40 minutes. All righty, let's turn my fan off and let's turn off the music. Uh, what typing test should I use? I think 10,000 fingers is fine for me. So I might just use that. But people, I think Nathan has been using this other one, type test, and then other people use like typings.gg and stuff. Um, oh, what? What's going on? about the birds outside. Close the window, I guess. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Let's do this.
Let's get on this. All right. So no need to put in your predictions because I suck at typing. Um, let me know if the mic sounds weird or anything like that. Um, wait a sec. Why? Uh, why is this doing this? Hmm. This weird static. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Redo. Okay. So that's what it sounds like. Um, it sounds very different from like the jur. So if you guys want to check that out.
that's the difference. Oh, champ, what's up? Thank you so much for the tier one sub. <laughs> Imagine not being a mod so around. How does that feel? Um, thank you so much though, uh, champ. And I hope GMK Greg IC is going well. Oh yeah. Speaking of interest checks, um, I do plan to have a new interest check out very soon for a key set. Nothing too crazy. Uh, when you see it, you'll know. But I'll be posting one soon on Geekcast, so I'll let you guys know. I'll probably ping the server on Discord, so if you want to enter the Discord channel, there's a link. Oblotsky renders waiting room. Yeah, so I'm currently waiting for Oblotsky to finish rendering. Once that's done, I'll probably be able to post it. So, you guys have any questions about this? Um, it looks like the next. <sighs> so, I actually have a lot of time today. Which is great. Um, so I could do a back to back stream and do a next build, but do I want to do that? Probably not. Maybe leave for later. Back to back, yes. Oh my god. Yes? Wait, but um, time to build an ISO? No, no, no. I have my ISO right here. Was that a Slack notification? Oh yeah, that was me probably, I'm sorry. Um, oh, that's weird. I didn't know that that was gonna notify me right now. I thought I had it on silent. Oh, well. um, definitely sounds kind of got bored in the last update. But yes, that was a Slack notification. My bad. This is the KFE by Visaromi and Beaming Robot with Heine Bush and Navoki's GMK Violet on Cream with full Violet Alphas. Oh my gosh. How do I. my do not disturb can't find it oh well did i rebuild or just get another one no this is not mine this is a client's so this has 65 gram vintage mx blacks with um 25g0 for lube and switch films pretty nice See the koala side angle view. Very nice looking boy. So 
question is oops do I continue to stream today hmm. let's see what's going on on clacker's care right now who's next I think it might be either J or Brian. Page is not loading for me though, for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. It's really slow, it's loading. Oh, it's Mr. Keeps right now. Let's see. Meme ISO? Yes. Meme ISO with meme switch. Um. That's uh, Nixdorf. White. Oh, it's like a linear switch, but it's a next door switch. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I put some shelf line in there to silence the downstroke a little. Nixie White, yep. It is indeed a Nixie White. So a meme, meme switch for a meme macro pad. So I might continue streaming because I do kind of want to get builds done. The question is, are you guys okay with that? Should I, should I continue? Wait, what the? is doing this if you don't got anything else to do all day I don't because I'm free I'm finally free <laughs> I'm so happy uh, what? no more exam means freedom we are definitely not okay with more keyboard content we do not want keyboard content at all we hate keyboards yes so if you want to check out Clacker's Creator, uh, currently Mr. Keeves is streaming, so check him out. Um, you can have him on and me on at the same time, I suppose. But if you want to support a good cause, Clacker's Creator is going on all weekend. So actually, you know what? Let's let's continue. Let's do this. Also, like stream quality is really good right now. Not much more to ask. So let's do this. Let's see. What am I building next? Let's see what's next on my list. I have I have several things that I need to do anyway. Um, let's see what's next for stream. We can build. Hmm. Oh, that's not here yet. Okay. Um, we can. There are several things. We can either rebuild my E6 V2. Or we can build a Polaris. So take your pick, chat. Polaris or E6 V2. What played on the Polaris? Both of them will have a palm plate, either or. Which keep? Oh, thank you so much for the poll, Mr. Sangamon. We offered a palm plate for Polaris? No, I had it done separately. 
I had it done along with a bunch of other plates actually. Um, I recently got like five plates. Yeah. Right, I can show them to you guys. These are some of them. Um, these are some of them. What color Polaris? If it's yellow, no thank you. It's a red Polaris. Roulette. Bellies? What's bellies? So that's a uh, Polaris full plate palm. That is an Exent full plate palm. And this is the E6 V2 full plate. I have more, but yeah. Polaris it is. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna change the title of, oh, actually, Zambamon, can you change the title of my stream? Actually, never mind, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'm, 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 I'm not that lazy. I can do it, edit stream info. Loads. <laughs> Build stream. Hmm. Back to back. Let's go. And I might as well. That title, the best players you'll ever see. <laughs> That's weird. Um, is it because of permissions? I'm actually wondering. Um, I, I'm a noob at Twitch, so maybe that's why. Sorry, buddy. Um, putting the palm plate uh, I think I um, desoldered some some MX blacks from a different board I had so I'll probably be trying that first um, if I don't like it too much I'll probably do um, probably do something else like alpacas or um, ergo clears maybe I don't know um, I have to decide and I probably have to desolder a different board so I can get some switches or probably have to loop some more but um, I haven't gotten around to do that yet um, so I'll be doing that later um, actually I don't know if my are my MX Black's plate mount or not I actually don't remember I, I'll have to check that too oh shoot let's see um I need a snack.
these are some of my favorite bars. So I'll have a kind bar while I decide what to do about this. Okay. Plus and AIO3. Been going for two hours and go are you gonna build another board? Hell yeah, man. Keyboards all day or day, man. Let's go. Okay, I'm hot again, so I'm gonna turn on the fan. Sorry, guys. Yeah, dude. I'm finally free from my responsibilities, so. Hell yeah. Alright, let's do it. Is it Polaris a personal build? It is. Oh, I should update the command for it. Um, let's see, just copy this over to keyboard. Ramping the Shemmings black switches looped with Triabosis 3204 that will be mounted on a full palm plate. Go. Personal build, can't wait to see this red. Wow, Rich! <laughs> Big keyboard, please. Okay, so I need to adjust that camera. It keeps flickering. I hate it. Alright, brightness. <laughs> um, Zambumon, did you just ping me earlier? Uh, you might have, but I didn't see it. Did you? Did you ping me? Is this the famous take keyboards? Alright, let's get started. Look at this tape. Look at the tape that the person who sent this to me used. That's so cool. Post and self promo. Um, do you want to do that for me, or I, I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I 
I didn't want to double shield myself, but oh, why not? another build? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Alright. So this, this is a pretty nice box. I actually checked it out before. So it just comes with this thick foam above. So it's like a very like Rama-esque sort of unboxing experience. It says Polaris by Kevin Plus and AIO3. Thank you for your purchase. Warnix Complex Assembly. Please read the assembly guide at um, QR code and then the HTML link um, and then um, building without the guide may lead and the URL, my bad. Building without the guide may lead to permanent damage to the keyboard. will not be liable for any issues caused by this regarding the build guide. So I'll open this up actually and follow the build guide. Um, so first we have some gaskets, um, the Allen key and some screws, um, bump bonds, and more gaskets looks like, uh, shims for the stabilizers. Show it the details later, and then the other stuff here is gonna be. Oh yeah, I put the plate here um, on the purpose. Uh, so I have the there's a PCB, PCB, and I put the palm plate in here. Um, I have a half plate and a full plate, but I can't use the half plate today because I don't have PCB mount switches ready for it. So no half plate, sorry guys. Next time I'll try to do a half plate build. And this is the palm full plate. So I'll be using this. And the other one is just a brass plate on a PCB. So I'll just show you the brass plate. So this is the brass plate that came with the Polaris. Pretty sturdy and no blemishes at all, so which is really nice. I see a lot of brass pieces with blemishes, so uh, it's pretty nice for change. So that's it, that's the unboxing. Um, big socket for the keyboard and for PCBs and plates and for any accessories on the side. This is great. Um, I, I feel like if every unboxing experience was like this, I would be very, very satisfied. Um, just overall, like, like excellent quality. Like the foam is nice and thick. Everything's nice and like, um, like close is flush. Um, it's like nice and snug in there, so I really like it. Alright, so let's open that keyboard guide. Compact, yeah. Google 
last modified 2012? Oh, or does it, what? How can you have last modified 2012-02-26? Maybe, maybe uh, AI03 was, uh, he designed this board eight years ago and released it now. <laughs> That's a lot of prototyping. Yeah. This is, this is manga S, what? <laughs> Let's see. Done our best to make the best keyword possible at the price point to get the best out of it. It's important to assemble it correctly. It's in the box, all this stuff, that's fine. Parts and tools necessary. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to loop some stabs this time. Um blah blah blah. Refrain from wiping down the board with strong chemicals. Okay, shocking the board with ESD, okay. Polycarp keys, ready to okay. The PCB. Uh, let's just follow the build guide, shall we? Because I, um, I, like, it, this is actually like the first time I'm opening your thing up. So, the PCB. Let's, um, how do I? Maybe I should, um, keep uh, my browser. As a extra source, no, 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 no. Um, actually, I can just copy that over from here. Copy, paste, and I just need to resize this. Is it good? Size? Okay. Uh, I'm actually. Wait a sec. Ah! Why is it doing this? Oh, shoot. Um, Reset. There you go. I think that looks nicer. All right, let's get started. Um, okay, so building the PCB. Uh, PCB comes with a basic key map and types. Unbox the PCB is not already done. Download a hex file. Let's do that. Um, so we go to. Can I use PDF? Do you see the speed soldering? What board am I using? Uh, Eamsbird, there is a command that is... Oh, what? I did an update. Uh, so weird. Um, it should update when I click on this refresh button. But I'm using a KFE. Let's try that again. Keyboard. There we go. That's what I'm using right now. With the GMK Violet on green. Uh, what speed soldering, um, Tay? I actually don't know what that what that is about. Oblosky rent. <laughs> What's up, Krell? How you doing? Um. Okay. So, can I use via.com and uh, support the keyboards? Okay, with three polaris via dot 
hex. Download it over to here. Reset button. Okay. Flash. We're setting up a device. Hilarious. Nice. Okay, um, it loaded up. I'm just gonna do um, just gonna change it a little bit. Uh, this is standard, so that's fine. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna do split backspace on this one. So split, and here we can change the backspace, the pipe, and tilde. And the rest, I guess I'll just uh, up, left, right, down. I like to have my caps lock over here and my media keys over here I like to have mute volume down okay nothing 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 um, this should be page up this should be page down this should be home this should be end um, boom, boom. nothing I like to have print screen over here I like to have delete. Uh, that's gonna be transparent. That's fine. That's fine. Um, pull man, page up, page down, print. Okay, these are fine. And um, I think that's good. Okay. All right. So, okay, so I installed that, flashed the firmware, replugged the PCB, showed up Splurge, blah, blah, blah. Preparing the case. Okay, let's go with that. So, just a closer look on the PCB. Uh, it has, this is really nice. These little markers for the stabilizers, super nice. I really like that. Um, Polaris by AIO3 and Kevin Plus, it has that, um, flexi cutout. Um, everything is labeled, which is sick. Um, I actually really like that everything is labeled. Especially with the RGB LEDs, I really like it when they label it. Because that means that I can follow the order and stuff too. Um, and like I can identify components right away with the numbers. So that's nice. Um, it's only a slower build. Alright, so this is the case, friends. Um, so it includes uh, foam, more foam. Uh, okay, I think it's for the second plate, so probably not. So these are for the second piece. Alright, so it has a uh, Piece of foam for in between the plate and the PCB looks like. 
and a piece of foam for the the bottom part. Um, uh, Zamamon, English only chat, please. <coughs> um, uh, they gave you two case foams too. Oh, I got two because uh, I also had a second plate. I actually had two plates and PCBs, uh, but I actually sold one of the brass plates that I had. I had, I had two brass plates uh, for some reason, so that's why. All right, so preparing the keys, unbox the keyboard, and they're all related parts if not already done. Using the supply hex keys, I'm just gonna use my screwdriver. Uh, unscrew the four weight screws. Thank you, Mr. Zabamon. Okay, carefully remove the weight and set aside. Alright, carefully remove the weight and set aside. Okay. Weight looks flawless. Very nice. A lot of small flaws here, but nothing big. And then, okay. Yeah, this weight is nice. Look at this, guys. Polaris. It has a little bit of kind of like bleaching sort of in the middle, but it's not a big deal. It's on the inside anyway. Super clean. Super, super clean. Super nice. I really like it. Okay. Um, and then we have... Um, uh, Use the smaller of the oh let's use the smaller one. Okay. Smaller of the screwdrivers. Unscrew the eight K screws. Did they include the screwdrivers? Yes. They did. I just prefer to use these because it's easier for me to unscrew. So it's kind of tight. Have to check this screw hole over here. Feels like a little bit, a little bit of dust. I think. Have to look into that. Yes, they included the Allen wrenches. So uh, they're right here. Right here, Zambamon. I think that my timeout should be removed. Well, uh, you, your timeout has been removed. <laughs> Welcome back. Alright. Remove the case, set aside, okay. setting aside. Uh, at this point, the case should be fully disassembled. Prepare the plate and adhesive gaskets. Oh wait, I gotta screw it all the way. I mean, I gotta scroll all the way down. Okay. Carefully place six of the long gaskets onto the plate, one per tab for the minority who are planning on using aftermarket custom plates. Install these gaskets on the case top area well, the, where the plate tabs overlap. So I will do that. I will be putting these onto the case and not onto the plate. So it looks like these are all the different gaskets and they fit in there. Okay. So let's see. Actually, I don't want to use this one, it's too sharp. This one's better. Okay, so there's six tabs. Uh, Dashkov, hello. I'm using a, um, I'm going to be using a palm plate that I had made for myself.
Zerp, hello, what's up? here so if you're opening up your case for the first time try to blow some air on it or something because there is a little bit of dust around here wait a second no 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 it's not centered It's a little bit aligned to the to the USB side of the keyboard. So I'm gonna put it closer to that end. Zambu man is here, is Zoran. Zoran might be around, but I think he might be cleaning uh, or doing something else. So I don't know. But I guess it's funny that if you see Zambu man somewhere, you can associate Zoran likely be together watching. Jeez, vacuuming. Oh my god, what is that Minecraft? A metal cool looking emote. So cool. I like it. Stick to the wall, come on. There we go. <laughs> nice. Wait, who are you, Camper Club? I've never seen you around. Must be someone I know, maybe. I come from the land of Teha. Good enough for me. Welcome, fellow Teha Nation person.
Okay, gasket's done, I think. Yo, Drip Chicken, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Alright, gaskets. Um, where the plate tabs overlap, repeat on the underside. There should be 12. Oh my god, okay. Alright, here we go again. So, we, I need to do this for. Polaris, I came back just to see Polaris. Fuck me, what? <laughs> so, I need to put this guy over here. Okay, these are a little bit more centered. So I'm gonna center these. That's a pretty nice red. It reminds me of K-Mac red. Yeah, it's a, it's like a vivid red, but it has like the finish is really nice and it's a little bit like kind of very matte, I guess. So it's, I, I like it very much. So red was not my first choice in terms of the color, but that's what the first thing I encountered when I wanted to get a Polaris. I actually did not get the Polaris from the group buy. I got it from somebody else. Oh, XCS2, hello. Hello, hello. Good to see you. But yeah, when I was looking for a Polaris, this was the first thing I encountered, and um, and I'm happy with it. I'm, I I thought it would be a little bit darker because people kind of said uh, it was. I mean, I think the promoted color said burgundy on it, but I think it's more like red than burgundy. I hope you don't pay premium for that Polaris. Slight premium, nothing crazy, I would say. I, I try to keep my purchases very close to group buy, or otherwise I just actually decide to skip them. Why are these keyboards so special? Um, the Suit Man 21, I, maybe you're new, uh, but welcome. Uh, what makes keyboards like these special is that they are custom mechanical keyboard kits. And by being custom, we can choose every component that goes into them and thus make it an experience that is fully personalized, of course at the expense of more money, um, that is fully personalized and um, yeah, it just feels good to type on, it looks good because it looks just like how you want it to look. And so that's why they're special. Uh, I got E yellow, looks darker than I thought it would. I got the school bus yellow too. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, so um, I heard the E yellow, yellow turned out a little bit darker. I mean, I think that's kind of expected from E yellow. It sounded like E coating would always turn out a little bit like, like that. Okay. Place the small gaskets horizontally. Small gaskets. Okay, I can set this case aside. Once. 
looks like they come with a few extras, which is nice. Okay. So, let's see. I was a bit disappointed with the yellow at first, but I came to terms with it. I think that yellow can be used pretty nicely. My plan was to put Nautilus on it, but I think it'll look better with the school bus yellow. I agree. I agree. Uh, Poner, I have not gotten my octagon plate. Nope. Uh, it should arrive either... Well, given that it didn't arrive today, it's probably going to arrive on Monday or Tuesday, I would say. It's still somewhere in, like, in transit, like, in the East Coast. Um, jerk Chicken, if I marathon further, I'll build your board. Um, anyway, let's continue. Uh, place the small gaskets horizontally at roughly the points indicated on the inner wall. Wait, Nani? What? On the inner wall of the case. Like here. Should be placed at plate height on the center band, flush to the lower edge is shown. I see. Oh, that's so complicated. Yeah, let's do it. Um, there's these little rectangles here. Okay, place to the lower edge at roughly the spots shown. Wait, no. Top, bottom. Okay, so the first one should go between. This and this. Plate height uh, closer to the lower edge. So maybe like that, like so. So like that. You guys can see it's right there. That's how I place the gaskets, the small ones. So let's do the second one. Am I using half plate or full plate? Um, I'm using full plate on Kevin because I don't have PCB mount switches to use for the half plate right now. Um, okay, so as you can see, there it is. Let's go marathon. Might as well since your internet seems to be running well. I know, right? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, let's see. So roughly on the other side around the same point. So maybe that's like two millimeters away from the wait, is this yeah, like two millimeters away from the school hall? Wait, huh? Hmm, what's closer to this part? Okay, maybe I'll do it just like the diagram shows. Alright. So there is the next one. Right here. Just get the rest. Sides, it looks like it's right in the middle. <sighs> I'm kind of <sighs> really anal about this stuff, so I'm gonna measure it out. Hmm. It's about nine and a half centimeters. Of which the half would be 4.75, so that's 4.5, 4.75 is right there. Okay. Right. Oh, frick. 
think it's on the wrong edge. Right there, right around the middle. Let's see. I have schoolwork yet, I'm still here. I have a polycarb and FR4 pleat. Gonna use T1s and H1s. Not sure which switch for which pleat yet. Uh, actually, either wouldn't. I, I think it won't make a big difference because they're both fairly flexible materials. Um, Alhex. What? Why is my build command not up to date? Why does this happen? Why is my build command not up to date? Let's see, build. So it doesn't update the first time for some reason. Uh, try again. Uh, try again in like two seconds. There we go. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I've completed. Okay, let's see. Hello, Johnny. How you doing? Hello, hello. All right. So that is done. Set the completed top wait. Set the completed top half aside. Prepare the case bottom half. Right, case bottom half, here we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's a nice snug fit. I like it. Alright. So put this aside. And then bump ons. Sad I missed out on Polaris. I was going to get it, but I ended up deciding not to. Um, me too. I actually decided not to get it, and then later I regretted it, so I got it. Uh, because I had a good chance at it. Like, I got a good deal out of it, but initially I was not planning on getting it. Thick, sort of. Oh, like very solid. Oops. Okay. How much you get it from aftermarket? Uh, I got it like I don't know, but it was a little bit more than like it was definitely more than retail. Um, but not too much. I think it was a little less than what they're going for now. 
Uh, okay, the case is ready for assembly. Installing switches and stabilizers. All right, so it's time to just. Uh... All right, so switches and stabs. So we should do stabs first. I'm gonna do this with backspace, so I need three stabs. Here's my humongous bag of stabilizers. Wait, I should have some stab from before. I'm gonna use those because I know they're good. Okay, so these are looped from before, but they definitely need a reapplication because it's been a long time since I did these. Mine was 305 total with brass plate. Uh, aftermarkets are insane right now. Yes, they are. Aftermarket prices are really weird. Just like people who offer 2500 or 3000 or I don't even know how much for TGR Janes and Key Cults. Not me, fam. I don't get it. It's like, where do you even get that money? It's like, you sell your car? You decided not to buy a house? take out a loan I don't know it's just so much money I spent overall a lot of money on keyboards but it's like over a long time it, I think it's just like crazy to drop thousands of dollars in one shot it, it just is kind of crazy but I mean I, I, I can't guilt others when I am guilty of it myself right well at least not to that extent but to some degree Stomach's growling. Uh, I guess I'm hungry, huh? <sighs> so many great artisans on that silent auction. Wait, hold on. I'm missing something. It wasn't even the limited GB, it's a compilation of stimulus checks and a lot of new users. I think the new user part is the bigger contributor. It's also, it's not just the new users part, it's also like a new acceptable norm is much higher. Like the, like the norm for aftermarket is like, the, what, the level of that being acceptable is much higher now. Like retail prices are higher overall like all across the bar like for boards and artisans and key, uh, actually key sets not so much um but just all across the board they're higher retail prices they're just a lot more products right so it's like acceptable to sort of like pay more for like convenience and the thing you want and yeah there's competition there's more people there's a lot more demand um but the thing is, because there's so many more new products, I don't think it's worth paying so much money for that one thing when there is something just as good right around the corner. Because there's so many, like, good designers out there. Um, you know, we're always making something out. I like making something. I mean, I don't know. Some people want very specific things, so I understand that. Um, 
Is that a slit on the PCB? Yes, it is. Um, it's uh, one of those uh, flex cuts, as people call it. A lot of users just miss lots of GBs and they're just stocking up. Yeah, I guess so. For TKL right now. Uh, just a white line? No, no, no. It is a slit on the PCB. So many great artisans in the silent auction. The Fugu colorway I've never before. It's, it's a one off? No, no, no. That Fugu, I believe, is from the originative uh, like raffle from the either GMK Dark Scale or um, Sky Moto. It's one of those. I think it's probably Dark Scale based on the colors. It's like black with purple and cyan accents so I think that's it um, aside from canon keys and KB fans no one else is doing entry levels like entry level boards is that right uh, I can't confirm neither confirm nor verify but you are probably right in that I think the the level or like the sorry the comparison between entry level and medium and top is very it's a kind of a narrow range if you consider GB slash retail pricing um I think like yeah the true low like like entry level is where KBD fans is like around the hundred, one hundred fifty dollar range at most, um, as well as like other cases like the T sixty from Noxery or like from or like Discipline like those uh, DIY kits uh, like the Gingham and all those right um, like the DIY through hole kits are kind of cool and they're entry level in for sure like for people to learn how to solder practice and same time have a sort of like customized experience out of it kind of unique I actually really uh, like the trend in the sense that it encourages people to like do that DIY like go through that DIY process which I hope people are taking advantage of instead of asking builders to do it for them you know for them but not against builders doing it for them because I am a builder myself but yeah and then the middle is sort of like like yeah, like Savage and uh, like other like Polaris. It's sort of like it's sort of like quote entry level, quote like somewhere in the middle. It's like mid entry level, I guess. It's like two hundred fifty dollars, right? Um, so that's kind of where I would define the mid mid entry or whatever. Two hundred fifty, three hundred fifty dollars, like two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars ish for a kit. Uh, but yeah, entry level premium board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to speak. I mean, like TX boards uh, used to be, or still are, actually fairly accessible. Like TX keyboard stuff. Um, they also have like the new like acrylic boards and stuff. Oh yeah, acrylic boards. Acrylic boards cover a very good portion of that market too. Acrylic keyboard kits, like Lubrigante and like Switch Couture and like all these people, like uh, Aiken and Yang. Like, Korean guy who does like Alice cases and other cases he does kind of neat work too um, th that kind of covers that market as well um, kind of exciting Polaris was considered entry level I think it's definitely a nicer board I agree um, I think the price point was what people considered entry level but um, the quality of it I think it definitely exceeds that um, but that's just me um, but then again, like if you think about what other custom group buys go for, like um, like other custom keyboard group buys, they still like kind of are around like three hundred and fifty, right? I guess like with shipping and all that, shipping taxes or whatever, it could be like four hundred, four fifty, right? And then like at the upper level of that, there's like about five hundred, five hundred fifty dollars, and then anything above, I don't think is a very fair price for a retail. Board, unless it's like using you know like unless the machining or like the complexity of the board warrants it such as like the stainless steel or brass parts for the key cult right 
like those are hard to machine like you know takes longer to machine and like the material itself is more expensive to cut so that I understand why the price is higher and they also of course carry that brand sort of um, tag to it so they can raise their prices justifiably because they have the demand um, but even then I think it's like that like 700 800 dollar price point is super high for pretty much most people I would say that for almost everyone but I would say that like more than 500 it's kind of like it, it's similar like an artisans above like a hundred dollars per artisan is already a lot of money um, I mean I remember when it used to be much less and so yeah like um, yeah like above five hundred dollars is that kind of like taboo number I would say that people think about like people are like oh my god this is above five hundred dollars I'm kind of reluctant to spend this amount of money is it really worth it I want to make sure it's end game material is what people will say right and I, I, I agree I think five hundred dollar the, the price tag has a psychological effect on people similar to the hundred dollar price tag on artisans uh, right now in 2020 before it used to be less before the like the 50 60 dollar used to be the high part of artisan keycap spending and now that's kind of the bar has really shot up for the past like three years or so but and we are like at the close to 100 which is pretty crazy in my opinion but it is what it is You know, Lightning, I've never seen you stream before, but your viewer engagement and knowledge is fantastic. Definitely got a viewer out of me. Thank you so much, Kevin. Um, I mean, I do this for fun. I think. And also, I'm not sure I'm like the best speaker slash engaged person. But yeah. Uh, Kepler65. Uh, Kepler65. Oh yeah, Kepler65. That's the... Is that is it was it like Damascus? No, was it like carbon fiber? I don't even remember what it was. That uh, was also that's an interesting board too. I actually don't know what the price of it was, so I can't comment on it. Uh, but I think it was more expensive than the norm, so I could see why. But at the same time, uh, a lot of these new prices and stuff, new price points are kind of, kind of like from brand and reputation and that kind of stuff and people are justifying it based on that too or maybe just FOMO as well <laughs> like they're like ran like or like they're uh, purposefully defined price points from vendors and it's like justifiable because there is a demand to cover it like there are enough people to purchase at that particular price point so yeah People are buying everything. Yeah. That's that's a good point. That's the thing. People are buying everything. So vendors, like if I were a vendor, okay? Like if I were a designer or someone selling a board and I know that I'm going to run out of stock, like I'm going to sell out for sure, there's no reason, right? Unless I want to, like I'm like community centric and all that, there's no reason that as a vendor, that I wouldn't want to profit, that I wouldn't want to raise my prices to cover that demand because my supply is gonna run out anyway. Like I'm gonna run out of stock, I'm gonna sell out completely anyway. So you can't afford to raise a price without any consequences other than maybe a little backlash of people saying like, oh, it's too expensive, it's inaccessible, like they start comparing it to other people. But even then, right? So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, of course, myself, like, as an enthusiast, I don't, I find it a little bit appalling that prices keep going up and up and up and up. But if I were in the shoes of a vendor, which I have, like, I've talked to a lot of them and stuff, and I understand. I think that's reasonable. It's just supply and demand. It's capitalism, you know? Uh, let's see. PC play features and gas come out at the 300 price point was one of the main things they focus on when marketing the Polaris. That it was was not normal to get all down for the price beforehand. AIO3 definitely challenges 
himself to sort of like do that like he has both he has a the chops to design like yeah like he endeavored himself to design something that could be affordable at that price point which is why like KVD fans is involved most likely because KVD fans has mass appeal and can produce large amounts at much cheaper price points right uh, they have access to that line of production which makes sense right like that's why you choose them to, to run that kind of group buy like massive group buy at a much lower price point right uh, for manufacturing and you know makes sense but AIO3 is also not I mean he's not just a designer of boards that are supposed to be like accessible price point and all that right he can also design what people consider fancy and premium and all that like like the Andromeda uh, which is currently on interest check is a good example of it it's a good example of what would be premium and expensive to make and probably expensive to buy and yeah so you know it's like multifaceted things here going on forge was cancelled forge forge uh, I don't know what that is. Is that a board? I must I must have missed it or I just don't remember all the names of the boards nowadays. Can't follow everything. But I think I know what you mean. Anyway, uh yeah, that's my rant of the day. It's that keyboards are getting more expensive. I don't really understand the consumer standpoint where I want this one specific thing and I offer a ton of money for it when there are a lot of other options coming up like there's always more options and they're very similar to each other uh, I get it though uh, you want it from that specific maker you want it from that specific designer I certainly have my biases for designers like I love Poner I love Poner's stuff I like the aesthetic of it I like you know, I like Keycold I like TGR I like all that stuff um, and I of course be biased for them but at the same time I want to put myself in the position of spending double, triple, quadruple the amount of money for the same thing when I know that other options will be about the same or, or trump that um, for you know what's considered regular retail price and so that's why when I go to the aftermarket looking for a keyboard and it's something that's like out of production and and whatnot. I I really try to aim for my rule for a long time since I started the hobby like three and a half years ago. My long-standing rule has been don't spend twenty percent of a retail price. So one point two one point two five x price plus like shipping and fees or whatever. It was like what I hard capped at that limit. Like I was like, if it goes above that, don't buy it. Resist the temptation, don't buy it. So that's what I would do. Um, and I still kind of, you know, I try my best to stick to that rule because I know that I, I know that I have a bit of a addictive, comp like compulsive sort of personality, and I know that I would purchase something for a lot of money, and you know, it's irresponsible and all this. And I, you know, I wanted to avoid that as much as possible when I started off, and so, and so, yeah, I just um, set myself that kind of rule at first, and that's kind of how I started getting keyboards. Like, um, I just tried my best to keep it as low as possible. Have you gotten a chance to play Valorant yet? Uh, I have not, unfortunately. I was too busy um thoughts on rama keyboards i think rama keyboards are great um i had a m65 for a while for a long time actually uh for like a couple of years i had a um i had an m60a for a bit uh, i had to sell that because of i actually had personal circumstances to guarantee that sale i mean to oh yeah um, to, to warrant that sale my bad um so i sold that after another bit um 
I, I like both. Uh, I do think that the, the integrated play experience was a little bit rigid and not very satisfying, but I really like the aesthetic anyway. Uh, it's kind of chalky and nice, but I, I, at the same time, I still now I have different tastes. Uh, they've changed. I like thinner bezels and that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I think that the Kara, the new injection molded case that they're doing, is gonna look really nice. It's gonna be really nice, really attractive price point, most like most likely. I do think that Rama stuff definitely carries a premium for the brand. You can tell it from like their apparel and their accessories that they're not really that cheap, you know. But. Uh, they have a certain aesthetic to them, right? People say people say that all, all the time, right? Like, oh, it's like the apple of keyboards, which I think is true. People get attracted to it and for a certain aesthetic, and that's what people think is. Not cheap plus a, uh, Australian shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They use DHL Express, which is not cheap either. Um, 356 Mini. <laughs> that's the only... There's two old boards that I love. That I would love to have is 356 Mini's number one, always number one, and then LZRE. I love that cylinder on the side with the little side profile. Mm, so tasteful, but yeah, too expensive. I, I wouldn't buy. It. I wouldn't pay that kind of money like what they go for now. Maybe like two, three years ago, if I were like, if I could put myself. Like how I see keyboards now to two years ago, I would have purchased something like that at that price. But definitely not now. I mean, what? Since I started three and a half years ago when I, oh, or like three years ago maybe, when I started, 356 minis were going for between like 800 and 1.5k, let's say, from the red ones. And. I think that was okay. Like that's the premium for this old keyboard, right? Sure. Uh, not everyone can bite that bullet, but I think it was more justifiable. You, you were like, oh, I'm paying like maybe like three times the price of retail or whatever. And I think like cool. If you really want it, you do it. But now like what? Someone listed one for like three grand? That's crazy. That's like this is insane. That's like 10 times the value at retail. It's just insane. I don't get it. At that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, resident sleeper. Duck Bowl, what's up, my friend Diego? Yeah, but you guys get it. I, I really don't dig the new market acceptable sort of thing. Wait, hold on. Um, for stabilizer that said loosely, such as cherry clipping and gym case screwing. Oh, there's shims. Shims with the. Side having their shiny rectangle facing up. Okay, I'll try that. Dips. Shiny side up. White hairs. Oh god. Uh. Putting them on the bottom might be nicer. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm gonna put them on the bottom. GH forty three hundred. Oh yeah, there's that guy on classifieds that has it listed for a ton of money, and they will never sell probably. Even if it does, then oops. Uh, if it does sell, then 
whoever does that is kind of stupid in my opinion, but okay. You can do whatever you want with your own money. Um, let's see. Uh, what's a shiny side for? <laughs> is the shiny side supposed to be non-conductive? I'm just going to put that on the bottom then. Basically, why people just made their own versions of it not worth it. Oh, for sure. No, I mean, people, I mean, it's just the same thing as. Remember, I mean, these old boards, people buy them for the historical value slash, like, symbolism, right? In a way. So, yeah, unless you're buying it for that reason, which I would, like, that's the only reason I'm buying it, right? I mean, it's, like, the primary reason, at least for me. Other than that, other than that, right, I wouldn't just buy it for this. Even if I had a lot of money, I probably wouldn't so. Because there's better investments than that. Like I could, I would rather invest, like actually invest that money into, like the, the kind of money into like stocks and bonds, right? <clears throat> than spend it on one keyboard. But imagine being responsible. What is that? my sound weird sometimes it's static weird. Have you ever tried to get a key called group buy? Yes, I have. I well, uh, I am in the key called group buy right now. I am in the key called group buy right now. Uh, actually, well, um, the time before that, I tried to purchase the contemporary red or the stainless steel key called number two TKL, but that was first come first serve, and I was too slow. But right now, I am waiting for a one sixty. White and red. Okay. Um, stocks or bonds take effort. <sighs> yeah, I mean for sure, but um, but still, you know, <laughs> I'd rather do that. <laughs> take work. Um, okay. Uh, snap the switches to the plate. I think the rest is just a regular building. Oh! Guys, should I use this foam? Yay or nay? Yay or nay? Using this foam, it seems. I mean, it's made to be put into this, so why not? Why not? Why not try this foam? Yay! Yeah, why not? I mean, I've never tried. I have actually never tried in between foam like this, so it will be interesting. Um, 
Pam, you're on keyboard number two. That's right. I, I would like a number two keyboard. <laughs> and so funny. So funny. Uh, was it difficult? Uh, it was just a raffle. Uh, so no. You enter, you forget about it, you get an invoice, hopefully, and that's about it. Uh, Johnny. They're raffle pre-orders, so... Uh, just you just have to pay attention to the time they happen enter at the time they do and that's about it some of these switches um, so it's not for com first come first serve no they are not they're not first come first serve anymore wish me luck on the summer one hey hey good luck good luck when it happens Those older, other builds, cherry red, cherry silver. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that should be good to hold this in place. Oh. You handled uh, Real Force R2. Uh, I've seen one in person once. It's pretty nice. Uh, I think that I think pretty much any new Topra now is like um, the stabilizers are much nicer actually, and uh, they have like silencing like foam and stuff too that you can in include, which is kind of neat. Uh, so uh, I would say I recommend it. I mean, if you if you're going for one, like I don't think it's a bad choice. I mean, they also feature like 1.25 U modifiers now, so a little different. Yeah.
touch them on loop. I still love 87U. Me too. Me too. I mean, yeah. I don't think I'll buy any more Topper for a while, actually. I don't have a reason to buy a lot more Topper anymore. Yeah. But for those who do, the all the new choices for Topper, like the HHKB Classic, Professional like professional Classic, the Bluetooth, the new type, like the Type S and the R2, they're all great options. Topper stock has gotten better. Oh, one point five U? Uh, no, no, I'm saying that um, the new the new stuff is one point two five U modifiers. And Johnny, no, I'm not selling any boards. Don't ask me. If I'm selling boards. If I'm selling boards, you'll see them on, on the market. But otherwise, don't need to ask. <sighs> okay, let's try to. That well, sounds fine, I think. A little bit muted. Phone. Maybe that's okay. No, yeah, the the R twos are standard bottom row. As a clacker, you care it so much, you are becoming a doctor. What? What does that even mean? Do I do sponsor time again? Sponsor time? Sponsor time? No sponsor time? Okay, maybe after I do the alignment first and then I'll do sponsor time briefly. It is a second board, so sponsor time. I mean, most of you guys heard the spiel already, but just in case. <laughs> oh, shit. I guess I should put a sponsor's command. You right. You right. I should do a sponsor's command. I need to put all the links and stuff, so yeah, I'll do that later. <clears throat> Just here to hold it all together, and I'm good. Okay, 
five head. <laughs> thanks, thanks. I know, I'm such a smart guy, right? Reduce travel. Is it? Is it? No, it's not. It's full travel. Is it full? Yeah, it is. Oh. It's just muted. <clears throat> this phone really mutes the sound quite a bit. That's what I'm noticing. Interesting. We'll be a relatively quiet board. Okay. Uh, I'm a little tired. How long have I been streaming, guys? Uh, up time, up time. Three hours. Ooh, no wonder. Are these the H1 switches? No. These are uh, these are either vintage or retooled and it's black. I think I am feeling tired, not because I've been streaming for a long time, but because I haven't drunk enough water.
see one switch. One switch. I don't know why. Um, wait. I should have more. I do have spares. So as sponsor time, first sponsor we have, for those who have already heard this spiel, I'm sorry, is Mint Autumn, mintautumn.com. They have held the Rukia group buys, and they're currently developing ultra high molecular weight polyethylene cases. One of them will be called the Irma, and it will be a TKL layout polyethylene case keyboard it's currently in development so stay tuned with mint autumn and for those who are participating in the rukia r2 group buy i wish you the best uh there is an affiliate link that is provided on my discord for any future uh, for any future um items that are in stock at mint autumn so make sure to check them out Next is novelkeys.xyz. So you can head over to Novel Keys to order supplies for your keyboards, uh, including switches, stabilizers, keycaps, among other things, um, on novelkeys.xyz. And you can use the promo code THUNDER for a 5% off discount on all in stock items and this does not apply to any group buy items or pre-order items currently novel keys has the gmk classic blue by um arslock and heine bush on group buy there are two base kits for that there is a regular um, blue on white um regular blue on white base kit as well as a white on blue full white on blue base kit so you can check that out um, they also have cat arctic on group buy so if you're interested in cat profile cat arctic is a key set by Mac nose I believe and that should be on group buy right now as well um, also stay in tune with Novel Keys for additional switches and keyboard information. The NK65 is being made in an inde injection molded case. Um, it will come in a smoky purple. Um, so if you want to check that out, um, check out NovelKeys.xyz and their Instagram for additional news. Next is Prime Keyboards, PrimeKB.com. Um, if you are planning to have a built service through me, I can provide supplies uh, through Prime Keyboards and I can provide stabilizers, switches, among other things that you might need for your build at a slightly discounted price. So contact me for additional information. There is no promo code for PrimeKB.com, but do check out their stuff. They will be restocking their alpaca switches, linear switches, very soon in June. 
so stay tuned for that. Uh, they also have the Duck Raven, Duck Sidewinder, T1 switches, as well as Duroc stabilizers. They also have the Prime E, um, smaller form factor ergonomic keyboard, as well as other little neat accessories and keyboard kits coming soon. Finally, there's Project Keyboard. <laughs> Project Keyboard. Um, Com. They uh, have GMK Masterpiece currently live uh, for a group buy. GMK Masterpiece will have a lot of new molds specifically for Japanese text modifiers with icons. As well a Japanese only alphas kit uh, with some interesting icons for the modifiers. So check out GMK Masterpiece currently on group buy. You can use my affiliate link provided on my Discord server. If you need a link to my Discord server, just type exclamation mark Discord for more info and you will be able to find a link in my affiliate links channel. I think that's about it for sponsors right now. There should be more things coming up soon for Project Keyboard. They have a bunch of different, they often sell um, Alice PCBs as well as serious 60% uh, palm cases and they will also be running group buys for um, other interesting keyboard kits such as the Nebula and um, what else was there? Uh, a few other ones I don't remember the name of but Nebula, I think, should be the next one, so stay tuned for that. The Finderworks Tengu is, uh, was also run through Project Keyboard. Uh, remember, I had to explain to someone that the thunder doesn't come in fact after uh, does in fact come after the lightning. <laughs> yeah, lightning, light travels faster than sound. So that makes sense. Um, GMK86 could be a cool concept, like model after the Toyota AE86. Hmm. Never thought of it, but it uh, sounds interesting. Enough to me. Thoughts on the number three? I think the outside edge looks a little, looks a bit like a crown molding. I think it's interesting, the number three. Um, I don't have many opinions of it as of now, uh, mainly because I kind of need to look into it more. Uh, but I think it is, it's a polarizing design. It's very loud in a way. Um, so I could see why some people could like it and dislike it. I think the bezels are really like, like, you know, like the bezels and the chamfer and all of these things are, it's a very loud design overall. Um, so yeah, it, it would be polarizing. Um, I, yeah, 
don't know what to say about it. I, I, it's like, I like this, the bottom and the side and all that. And at the same time, I'm not huge about the chain front top. Um, just like the angles in general are not like my specific sense of aesthetic. Um, but I mean, I think it's a cool endeavor and I think the machining is wild on it. Like it's complex and really intricate and really cool. Um, yeah, I just don't know what, what to make out of it yet. So. Can't imagine the machine time, so I mean, that's why they're going with Salvin. Uh, insert the switch plate PC plate assembly into the upper case half. Case. Assembling this uh, via, you can go away. Upper case half, so the vertical gaskets installed onto the upper case half hold the plate in place from the sides. Be careful not to force assembly in, this can tear the vertical gaskets off the top case half. I see. Okay, that seems to be holding it in place. And then carefully insert the bottom case half. Oh, foam or no foam? Foam or no foam? Well, I guess since we already did foam, we can do more foam or no foam. Actually, I'm kind of against this particular foam piece, but we can foam it. Foam? Foam? All right, wait, we'll foam. Okay, fine. Foam it is then, since you're asking for it. I might remove it later, though. I try to. Don't I try to not use foam so as to try things try try to see how things look without foam. So yeah. More foam. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but Okay. Uh be careful not for the Okay, screw the halves together. Okay, screw the halves together. In a way, I don't understand why the underglow LEDs are there, just because, like, you will never be able to see this underglow. Kind of pointless. Alright, carefully insert that. Carefully insert the weight screw, the weight into place using the four weight screws.
I set the keyboard upright, very fine. Everything's in place. Everything seems to be in place. So just, okay. Um, so uh, I can probably get rid of this browser page. All right, so we need to decide on what key set to use this time. And I haven't, I, I figured I had chosen a few things in mind that I still have left to use. I need to check though what I was going to maybe use. Red Samurai, that's right. Red Samurai! Uh, so I have Red Samurai, Hamon, Burgundy, of course. Red Samurai, Hamon, Burgundy. Uh, Red Samurai, Hamon, Burgundy. And Red Riot. Red Samurai, Burgundy, Hamon, Red Riot. Straw poll time. Uh, how do you do a poll through like Twitch? Mr. Zambuman, I actually don't know how to do this. Well, if Zambuman is not here, I'll just do a straw poll myself. Uh, key set on red polaris. So I said, uh, I said red samurai, burgundy, hamon, red riot. All right, everyone, check out the poll. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'll start organizing a few things here. Mm. Long stream. some stuff while you guys do that. I'll give it like two minutes. Yo, Bupil, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub, my friend. Ugh. Tired. Okay, we back. 
My shadow eyes is beginning to rack up them channel points. Ah, no, it's fine, man. Don't worry about it. Alright. So I got a bunch of messages. From what? Oh, yeah. Okay, I forgot about that. Huh? Um. Okay. Yeah, it really is a warm day today. I like turn off the fan, and it's already like really warm and hot, actually. Um. I actually need to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. But, um, I'm gonna put... Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Uh... Fit this... Reset. And... What? What? Oh, God. Ah! I see. That's why. And why is it doing that? Reset. There we go. Vote on that if you haven't. So I'll be right back. Okay, we back. Let's check out the poll results. Red Samurai, three votes. Okay, only five votes. Eh, okay, that's fine. Red Samurai, it is then, since you guys don't want to vote. Da -da -da. my hands yeah I just needed to uh, blow my nose <laughs> um, let me get red samurai All right. Red Samurai it is. It's gonna look interesting. Do we use, I have the Japanese alphas. 
Do we use those instead? Uh, oh yeah, there's a space bar I'm gonna need. Novelties. Okay, Japanese alphas, let's go. I have to look into it though. Um, let's look, let's look. Japanese alphas, so red samurai, okay. So from here, I just need to get the uh, So from here, I'm gonna need to get Modifiers, right? I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Modifiers. Enter. Um, maybe I'll use a. Maybe I'll use a novelty there. Where's my other alt? Alt. Um. Hmm. Where's the FN key? Maybe it's in the other box. Are there are four one u novelties? Maybe. Hey, yes, LQ, what's up? How am I doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Let's see first. Let's see. Let's get my space bar first. Oh, there's the FN key. Um, like space bar. Okay. And um. Oof. H1 switches? No, these are uh, MX blocks. These are MX block switches. Um, novelties. There are R4 novelties, so maybe I could use one of those. This one looks kind of cool. Is it this one? I'm so confused by these. too many novelties myself so I'm gonna only use a limited number of them like this one and for the escape I like this Okay. 
That's it, and uh, the rest is alphas. I need to look that up, so I'm not gonna be watching the screen for a second. I'm actually just gonna put this on this side of the screen. All right, um, all right, cool. Oh, okay, where does this go? This is here. This is, oh my God, um, R1 key, and it looks kind of weird. Oh, that's two. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to split these by row, because I don't know where they are. Yeah, the hiragana ones I like more than like the double legend ones. I think people say it's not perfect. My understanding of the language pales, so I can't say. In this community, someone always has some flaw to point out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I agree with that. Uh, is this supposed to be Tilda? And this is supposed to be Pipe. Um, okay, the <laughs> the rest. The rest now. Kind of confusing, but here we go. Um, roll three. Roll three. What? 
just go. I'm not gonna bother. Um, yeah. This nine looking thing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's T. This is slow. Uh, zero? Yeah. Looks pretty nice. If I'm gonna say so myself. This looks pretty nice. What do you guys think? 29 viewers out there, if you wanna. Bubbles F11, hello, hello. So does this flex a lot? Not too much. I can I can see it, but it's not crazy. All right. Also, this is shaking like a lot. Um, this is nice. Okay. Okay. What's next three in a row? Uh, I could, but I don't think I will. I'm tired. Uh, I could though. Uh, I could after a break, actually. I could after a break. Maybe like after like a 30 minute break. <laughs> It'll be rough though. Three five six mini build stream when when I get one. Thank you. Please free 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 mini please. Plus. Oh my god! Sorry for the camera shake. It's just like I'm shaking. I think. Let's see. Uh, let's do this. How does it feel? Uh, I'll let you guys know in a bit. Alright, so... Type test? Typing test. Alright. Um, mic alright? I think the mic is okay, right? Okay. Um, let's do this. Let's try this out. Huh? Man, stream has been stable the whole time, which is awesome. 
Okay, let's try to get this done. All right. <clears throat> so this is a Polaris uh, built with vintage MX Black, looped with uh, Tricosis 324, 68 gram springs and switch films. Um, built with a full palm plate. Um, with the foam, case foam, and the PCB slash plate foam between and the assembly. Um, and um, yeah, so we're gonna start typing on it. Let's, let's do this. Oopsie, did open? So let me see. So the typing feel is sort of like I would say it's less bouncy than the unicorn. So the unicorn is really bouncy. It's a really bouncy typing feel. Same for the gasket double O. They both have the like the O ring style, right? and they are pretty bouncy this one not so much um so it's not super bouncy but like it still feels it still feels pretty soft like the typing feels still pretty soft so overall like I actually like the full plate sound, I think. I think like half plate might have been a little less consistent. I think the sound is really nice and consistent throughout the whole board. Like no matter which alphas I'm like typing on, on the same row, they're consistent with each other, which is nice. Um, I think it might also be an effect of the foam kind of dampening a lot of that sound. Um, so that kind of puts things in a... Sheds light into like how without having a foam, how, how not having a foam might affect the sound. But overall I like it a lot. Um, I think I might remove the foam to try things out actually. Might not do it right now but later on just to see how it goes. Um, but overall, like for the price, this is really good. I mean, 
Surely Unicorn was also a really good deal if you got it um, during the group buy, which is a, was about the same actually. It was like 200 and some. It's like about like 300 and like 20 dollars shipped, which was pretty good. But this is like nice, nice gas amount in it. Like it's really nice. The profile is like perfect. So like you can see, that's the profile, the side profile of the board. Bump on's a little bit thick. I kind of want these bump-ons to be less thick, but I think it's fine. Um, so this is what the board looks like from up close. And from the back, you know, pretty nice. Love that AI logo. This is really cool. Um, it's really clean. Like, there's no blemishes whatsoever anywhere on the board. I noticed there were hook marks on the inside, but again, completely invisible because they're on the inside of the top case and like a small part of the bottom case, but they're all in the inside. They're like little dots. Uh, but yeah, this looks. This is really nice. The colors are like in an in in between vivid red and slightly darker, more muted sort of red. So uh, I really like it. Um, yeah. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, suggestions, complaints, let me know before I finish. Um, I'm probably going to raid whoever's next in the clackers care uh i might stream some other time not today probably actually i'm kind of tired now but yeah anyone have anything to comment chat's been quiet for a bit Almost Velvet Unicorn like yeah. Best gaming switch? Best gaming switch is you should just get um stock co-star stabs, no lube, with cherry MX silvers, and you should put one millimeter O-rings on your keycaps. Use make sure you use AVS keycaps with um shine through pad print. That will improve your gaming. Um, performance by 50% guaranteed don't forget shine through no shine no RGB no performance okay shine through only <laughs> lightning approved yes lightning approved I like this set on this um, board. It's really nice. The 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 reds actually match pretty well. I mean, they're not perfect. No, they're not the same. You can tell. They're not the same color. In certain lighting, it might seem a little bit closer, but it's really not. It's true. All the esport athletes use RGB. Gia G A Guo. Hello, hello. Thanks for the follow. Why do people spend more than fifty bucks on the keyboard? Yeah, they're such idiots. Why Why should you even spend more than $50 on a keyboard? Tay, you're right. You know, I know this guy, Tay Keyboards, on YouTube. He does really nice reviews of possibly sub $50 keyboards. He probably, he knows the market, man. He, he, he knows what's up. He's smart. He doesn't spend over $50 on a keyboard. What is this? What is this crap? What is this garbage? Just, you know? Just give it the Bauer treatment. Gia <laughs> Diego just arrived and is seeing me treat this board like 
the bower. <laughs> oh no. Some oh my god. Ah, oh, someone recorded me eating a tray. Yeah, anyway, um, oh, keep forgetting. If you guys have any last minute concerns, let me know now before it's too late. But otherwise, we're gonna be going to raid Chewy from Max and Deck, I think. So, if you have any last minute things, let me know now. How long of a break are you taking between the next? <laughs> I might take a break for the rest of the day, to be honest. I kind of want to take a nap or something. Um, I might, I might, I might do this again. Um, can't believe he's taking a break. Oh yeah, what a weakling. Tay Keyboards would never take a break. Tay Keyboards would do 12 hours, no breaks, man. Switches, uh, these are MX Black switches, uh, G.I. Jaguo. Um, MX Blacks. Glass stream wasn't scuffed today. I know. This is like, this is so nice. I I honestly think that stream was not scuffed today because it's like seventy five degrees out or eighty degrees out, and everyone went out, most likely to like you know get their sunlight and shit. Um, I'm okay. I'm good. I like the indoors. All good. I, I go to outside when I go to the post office. That's good enough, right? That's all you need. Just, just a bit of sunlight during the day. Go to post office. Do, do your groceries. That's about it. That's enough. Actually, I do my groceries at night <laughs> because the the supermarket that's near me is open till like twelve, which is super nice. Not twenty four hours, but still open really late. So I, I, I dig that a lot. I, I really like it a lot. But um, let's see, let's see. Um, where are you? Okay, here we go. Um, wait, channel. But yeah. Would you like to check out my new desk mat design? Uh, sure. Um, S3LK, you can either. Uh, so, exclamation Discord is my Discord server. You can join there and we can talk over chat there or you can PM me or actually just over chat is fine because so that people can give you some criticism, fresh criticism, destroy your ego. I'm just kidding. Um, but actually, but maybe not. I mean, anyway, yeah, join Discord. Um, you can chat there if you want. Um, all right, let's 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 get moving here. Y'all don't have any comments, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep going. Max on deck, let's get going. All right, well, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, I'm gonna take a break, do run some errands, maybe clean my room a little bit. Um, and then maybe I'll be back tonight, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'll be back tomorrow, actually. I'll definitely be back tomorrow because I do want to finish up a build tomorrow. Um, jerk chicken, if you're still around, you're next. Um, so yeah. Good hangs. Yeah, man. Um, thank you so much for stopping by, everyone. Um, sent it in general? Oh, awesome. All right. I, I'll see. I'll check it out there. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or any concerns or anything, like, you know, just PM me. If you need, if you want more information about the build service, PM me. Ask me. Ask other people. Do whatever. Uh, but yeah, it was chill. It was good. Uh, today was really nice. No issues with stream. It's so refreshing. I might do this more during the day. I think I should. Build. Oh, you're a little late, Mr. Raham LaRouge, but here's your command. Build, build. Well, you know. Maybe you'll get it right before the stream ends. Alright, let's go. Let's raid Mr. Max on deck. Max on deck. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Yeah, I know. Alright. Alrighty, 
everyone. Thank you so much for stopping by. As usual, we'll be, you know, if you're on the Discord, you'll get notifications about what's next. Uh, I don't stream super often, but I try my best as I get builds. So yeah, I have a bunch of rebuilds to do. So actually, there will be some content to do stuff with. Alrighty, well everyone, thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go to the mechs on deck. See ya.